Hey there YouTube, what is going on? It's the best one eight once more and I have something else for you. I have a set of pants from Cycle Gear and I wanted you to check these out. So let's get it open. Now I used to have some Kevlar pants, but I uh unfortunately they don't they don't unfortunately they don't fit anymore. So due to me Due to me losing weight, I ended up, um, I'm going to end up letting those go. And uh, I, the other day I was searching online, I was looking at, I was looking actually for some of the freeze out from, from Psycho Gear. And I came across these pants here. And I've been meaning to get another set of, of pants so that I can... Uh, so I can have some Kevlar pants, but I don't always have to wear my overpants. As you guys well know, I, I usually like to wear my overpants. Um, so, now with these, they have the Kevlar protection on the inside. I did order a previous pair of these pants. And um, the only thing that kind of bugged me about them when I tried them on... Now, I'm, I'm, I'm a 36 in... Um, my waist but when i when i got those and i tried them on in the 36 i don't know they were just a little bit on the tight side now the they had these on special for 89.99 and these are the built iron worker um built iron worker denim jeans they call them denim jeans but they're kind of kind of almost like a khaki material now you have your rear pockets which this has is held on with velcro okay this goes in they do give you a little um, back connector here in case you wanted to connect your jacket to this now what is this here it's like a little loop hmm i wonder what you'd use that for not really sure you have uh you have some really nice you have some really nice side pockets here see hopefully these will come out on camera and try this side here as you can see here you get a you get a nice side pocket you can put something in there okay hmm even though they use they use velcro but I usually uh, I don't know sometimes I usually like just give, just give me a just give me buttons because sometimes these things, if they're not stitched well, well, then you can always get them stitched back. You can always take them to a tailor or something to that effect. So you get your two side pockets, okay? You get one over here. You know, with this being a dark pants, I just hope the exposure comes out decent. So you get one here, okay? And the same thing on the other leg. But you also get this little small pocket here. And I guess this probably you can put change. Oh, see, look at that already. What was I just what was I just talking about? About these little these little things here. How they uh they tend to to just they kind of just tend to or they will rip on you. And look what's already happening. You see that? I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but Let's zoom in on that a little bit right there. And as you can see, it's already, that's already ripping up. So, but not a big deal. This isn't really a pocket. This isn't really a major pocket for me. And I probably really would use this. So that's not, I'm not making a stink about that. That is really not a big deal to me right now. But it was, it just goes to show about what I was talking about where when they use that Velcro, it can be a little bit of a pain. Uh, you have this Velcro here, which you kind of don't even need Velcro there. They give you a, a small pocket here where you can put stuff. All right, so I had to change exposure a little bit and you can see, all right, so they use this Velcro here, which like I said, I don't think this is a pocket that I would even really use much. Most of the time, the pockets that I use are these here, 
in that pocket there because as you can see you know and you get a nice deep pocket which is really nice wow that's cool you know uh, let me see they have they have velcro here but i don't know what the heck what is this okay they give you a little this is a little like a <laughs> three three finger pocket okay i don't know what you're gonna do with that but i guess you could put change in there you know it's always nice to have a change pocket now here are the other two pockets i was talking about earlier which are on the side um taking a look at the stitching and such yeah, it looks pretty good not too bad this was the only one that where i was talking about that um the velcro was kind of coming up on it but look at the size of this pocket i don't i'm, I'm not going to tell you i'm not even going to really complain about that because I'm probably never going to use this pocket. So that's something that I think I feel comfortable enough to let go of. That's not even a big deal for me. Now, as I said earlier, I did order these before in a 36, but that 36 was, I don't know, for some reason was too tight. Um, I'm usually a 36. That is usually what I wear right now, but these are a 38 and the 36, it, it fit. I can button it up, but it wasn't comfortable. And I knew that sitting on a bike for any length of time, that wouldn't, I, I, I just wouldn't have liked it. So I, you know what? I ordered a 38 and then a 36, we're gonna take it back to the store and we're gonna return that. So I'll end up trying the 36 on just to see how this fits. So for reference, I'm 5'11", um, 205 pounds, okay? Um, and this is a 38. 38 waist so i went up a size but it all depends on how it fits you so if you're usually a 36 maybe the 36 will work for you i don't know hard for me to tell okay now you do have an adjustable cuff here okay nice velcro nice uh, let's flip them inside out Now you do get armor in here, but it's not a hard armor. This is soft, I guess they want to say CE approved armor, but it's a soft armor. So you have to take that into consideration. You're probably gonna want to get some different armor to put on here. Something that is uh, actual armor, hard armor too, not just, you know, soft armor. I mean, it'll still protect you, don't get me wrong, but the, the real deal stuff is always better. But it's not adjustable, so where it is is pretty much where it is. And this is the armor that they give you. Okay, so as we can see, CE, hmm, all I see is one and that's it, part 791. So not much more information than that, which is fine for now. All right, I have some other knee armor that I'm gonna actually, I'll slide in here. So that's not a big deal. Okay. So as we see, you have the Kevlar lining in the knee, okay. Let me just flip this around here. Now here is your bum area. Okay. Here's your bum area, which is lined in Kevlar. Not too bad. I think they wouldn't have been bad for them to come down to say about here, but I'm riding a cruiser. I'm not pushing any limits. I'm on a cruiser. So this will pretty much be perfect for me. I think that's not bad at all. As for the front. So for the front, now as we can see, 
you have your Kevlar in this knee area here. You have it, let's move the pants. We have it along the side here. Stitching looks not to be too bad. I don't really see any loose stitches or anything like that, which is nice. And uh, let's see, your pockets look pretty nice. Yeah, so I mean, I, I really can't complain. You know, for uh, 90 bucks, it's not too too bad of a, a Kevlar pant. I know, uh, I know more than likely, maybe you spend a little bit more, you'll get a little better product. Probably double this, you know, you'll get a better product. But for the price and what they're asking, even for just checking it out and getting it in and, and overlooking it, I think it's, I think it's not bad. It's, it's, it's a decent product. So, yeah. So if you've been wondering what this looks like and what it's actually made of and what's in there, then at least now I, I, I hope this gives you somewhat of a better idea of what you would, uh, what you would be looking at. And once again, this is the iron worker cargo pants. Okay. From uh cycle gear. So you get a chance. Definitely. Uh, All right. What's going on there you guys? So just doing a little further review of the Kevlar pants that I purchased from cycle gear and I've put about 150 miles on them between yesterday and today and they've actually been pretty good <clears throat> um, as I stated earlier you know, these little velcro things I kind of don't trust them but you can see how they pretty much fit they have a little velcro strap down here so basically you want to do those to keep it from touching your foot but other than that it's actually not too bad uh, I find them actually to be pretty comfortable on the bike. Uh, when you sit, they do come up a little bit, but today's a little bit of a windy, kind of a chilly day, but it's not anything horrible. So, yeah, yeah, actually, I'm pretty happy with them. And if I were to say if I would buy them again, yep, I dang sure would. I definitely would buy them again. So, uh, I didn't get caught in any rain with them, so I can't really speak as far as how they are in, a, in the wet or once they get wet, but I'm pretty much going to be like any other jeans. Once they get wet, then you know they just get wet. So, um, yeah. But other than that, been pretty happy so far. Out here at Harriman State Park, really beautiful area check this out and if you like the video be sure to leave a like and if you want to leave a comment feel free to leave a comment i always appreciate your interactions thank you have a good one guys take it easy the best one out